welcome to the second day of the Lan Fan October release. Today we are sneak peeking a set called Happy Hanukkah, and the name kind of says it all. Um, we have all sorts of inspiration and card samples and all sorts of samples from the design team um, on the blog, and a bunch of chances to win all these sets. So make sure you head on over to lanfan.blogspot.com. But uh, right now I just wanted to show you some images from this set. When we created this set, um, we really felt like there, was, there wasn't really a lot of Hanukkah images out there in the stamping world, so we kind of wanted to fulfill that need. This set is also um, uh, definitely for um, Pat, who's like my aunt. She's my mom's best friend since forever, um, and I'm just so glad that I can finally make her a decent Hanukkah card. Um, I never had the right images before. And I can also make cards um, for my wonderful friends, the Mulkies, too. And they all helped me and uh, uh, helped us here at Lawn Fawn in making this set to make sure that we did everything properly. So right here is the menorah image from the set, which I just love. And um, this set, this image is really fun because there's so many options to it. It works for a Hanukkah card. Um, you could also create eight, the eight days of Hanukkah um, by lighting the candles with a marker or stickles. Um, and so you could do eight different cards for the eight different days. Um, so I just wanted to talk about a little bit how to light the candles. Um, I'm just learning about this myself, so um, I, you know, hopefully I don't pronounce anything incorrectly. But the top candle is called the shamish and that candle is what you use to light the other candles and when you start off on the first day of Hanukkah you have a candle that you put in on the far right and then the second day you add the third day you add and as you light add them you light them from left to right with with the top candle so um, I'm just gonna do what will be the first day of Hanukkah so right here and right here, this would be really fun with stickles. I'm just using a marker for now. But uh, so that would be the first day of Hanukkah. And what would be really fun to do is to do this with your younger children who might not be ready to actually light the menorah just yet. They could learn how how to do the menorah lighting and they could use stickles and coloring and it'd be really fun for them to do. So I really like that idea. So for the second day of Hanukkah, you would light this one and then this one and this one. So I think that would be a really fun activity and a really great way to, to keep going and making, um, you know, sets, uh, eight different cards for the whole, um, for the for the all eight days of Hanukkah. So I really like that idea. Um, one of the other images that we have is the dreidel. And as soon as I say it, I start singing the dreidel song. I'm not going to sing it on camera, but I bet you guys are singing it too because it's a super catchy song. So this is our dreidel image. And this is perfect for a Hanukkah card, but what could also be fun is if you were having an event at your house, especially if you had people over that didn't know how to play the dreidel game, you could print out instructions for the dreidel game and then embellish them and make them look all pretty with um, stamping with this dreidel. And if you stamp the dreidel at these different angles like this, it actually looks like a spinning top. So I really like that. It really gives a lot of motion um, and I think it would look really great. Uh, as uh, on your, on you know Hanukkah cards or like on a you know instruction sheet for uh, for your dreidel game. Now one of the other images that we have in the set is the Star of David, and I really like that we included this image because it works for so many other Jewish events and holidays. Um, so it's a really great image, and what I think would be really great to use it for is for bat mitzvah and bar mitzvah cards. Um, it's really hard to find. Uh, stamp sets for that kind of thing. So you could either print out a sentiment or use um, an alphabet set like Harold's ABCs to spell out happy bat mitzvah, happy bar mitzvah, and the Star of David would be a perfect image for that um, and, and for other Jewish holidays and events out there. So we like that there's, you know, you know how I love the year-round uh, year round uses for stamps. So the last image that we have in our set is the actual sentiment, the Happy Hanukkah sentiment. And when I do sentiments, um, as I, oh, I, I tell you guys a lot, I always put it down on the paper and then pick it up. And that means it's, it's going to show that it's straight. And, uh, and so I'm just going to ink that up and show you the sentiment. But then something really fun that you can do, which is the kind of the power of the clear stamp, is that you can curve these sentiments. So I just wanted to show you how I curve sentiments. And, and this works for any sentiment. Uh, Sophie's sentiments is really good for this one, um, but any clear stamp sentiments that you have. I just kind of curve it. Um, I kind of let the stamp dictate to me what I'm doing. So I just curve it like that. And then I take my block and I look at it and I start saying, okay, I start manipulating it to make the curve that I really want. 
So that looks about what I would want. And then you can kind of, because it's clear, you can kind of go underneath and see if you like it. And I do like that. So I'm just going to ink it up, stamp. And the thing about curving sentiment stamps is it gives it a whole new life. It looks like a whole new sentiment because the curve really adds um, kind of a whimsical touch to it. So you can see the, the difference between the two. So this one could be really fun for a kid's card and this one maybe more for an adult's card. Um, although I love whimsy so I would love the one with, uh, with the curve sentiment personally. But, uh, but yeah, I mean it's, it's really fun and it really you could make different looking cards just by doing something as simple as curving a sentiment. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this preview of Happy Hanukkah and um, I hope you head on over to the blog to see the design team samples and um, enter to win. You know, I think right now we have like six sets up for grabs and make sure to come back tomorrow for more previews and more fun um, here at YouTube and at the Lawn Fawn blog. Have an amazing day. Bye.